Okay, just when you think Guitar Center's gonna leave you alone for a little bit. No, no, no. Never. No, no, no. We were like, it's been quiet on the GC front for a while. We've had our little birds listening, but then the gods have delivered and oh, they nice. brought this news. Um, so Guitar Center has joined the club. It's not all confirmed yet, but it pretty much means this is happening. Um, they are filing for an IPO, initial public offering. I was going to say, maybe you're like me and you're like, what the heck is an IPO? <laughs> That's it. So they, they are, um, you know, everybody else has been bought out by private equity, right? So Guitar Center has already been bought out by private equity multiple times. First in the disastrous transition and acquisition from Bank Capital, right before the disastrous housing market and financial 2008 collapse. Um, but, and then they were bought by another group. It was sort of similar issues and things and things are going better and things are going worse and went bankrupt again it happens so like multiple <laughs> no it doesn't it does not happen sometimes hey, do you remember when sweetwater went bankrupt oh yeah oh and that that huge sam ass bankruptcy oh, that yeah. Happened, you know yeah it doesn't happen it doesn't happen maybe right? they're just not going hard enough they're not all in <laughs> they're not all in i guess and like, they just weren't pushing, I mean, pushing I, the boundaries. And I do, like, and I always, this is a side track, we'll get back to the fines, but I feel for those cats on the ground. Like, there's some dudes that, like, are crushing, crushing, crushing hard. Like, some of these shop managers. Yeah, and, like, man. And, like, the GC, even, like, the regional guys that were in charge, like, were, were slaying it in, like, the 2007 range. Sure. And then the guys now that are working the trenches are killing it. Like, there's some of the guys in the South Carolina shops, I, we still get to do an awesome video about them eventually once all this, there's another thing that hasn't gotten resolved yet with us and them, but it's a good thing. Theoretically, we'll get to that later. But anyway, back to Guitar Center. So they are they are filing um, papers now to allow this IPO, the initial public offering, to happen, which will, you know, in layman's term, is allow you, the common person, me, the layman, to buy shares in this company. How many are we gonna buy? I would rather invest in Powerball at this point. I think. So I shouldn't put my whole savings in yet. No, well. Uh, don't pull out of my Ethereum Bitcoin. <laughs> pull out of your Ethereum. <laughs> so, so, uh, so the filing here is, in, is is come together after their sales have increased over the past year. That's a positive. Um, yeah. But everyone in the guitar and MI industry, the sales have increased. That is sort of why all these sort of private equity things have been coming in too. Because the guitar shops that are in a healthy situation are like, hey, we're good. Let's cash out. Yeah. Right? So like we've done like this. It's like if you own a house right now and you bought it 20 years ago, you're kind of at the top. Get out while the getting's good is I mean, what you're saying. Maybe. I think the good is definitely to be got right now in a lot of ways. And so they are, they're, they're, they're sort of, this is, I look at this, I'm, I'm going to jump into the tickets a little bit here, but I look at this as almost a bailout for the private equity. They want to cash out right mm. now. And, and like their, their primary you know, owners in the company are ready to take their money and say thank you very much. We've made our money. We're Way good. to go. We've gone through this 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 hard couple of years. Let's move on. That's part of my thoughts. Now, I don't know if I would as a, as us as the layman's, I don't know if I would invest in this company right now. What are you thinking about? Are you gonna do it? I mean, as a poor musician who works at a guitar store, no. <laughs> but my decision might have different motives than yours <laughs> you have a real job so i don't know <laughs> yeah we don't get to invest in too many you know multi-million to billion dollar companies in our day-to-day yeah. -day life yeah but, you know, yeah this is a tricky one ceo ron what's his last name again japinga ron japinga <laughs> this quote um challenging times created by the pandemic that led to its filing for bankruptcy before um, but they're now, it's, it's a shift and they're coming out of it, they, they think. So both the company and, and all the firms have been hobbled by debt for years here and the private equity takeovers. So back to Guitar Center's origins a little bit. Let's go back to the start. What was 1959. it called? 1959. Do you remember the name? I believe it was the Organ Center. Which I think is awesome. Kind of is. So when this, when this goes as an IPO, it will be the IPO for Organ Center. That's not true. <laughs> 
but it would be really awesome. That'd be kind of <laughs> rad, right? It's true. I would, I would buy shares if they did that. It was founded back in Hollywood. Small little shop, too. And it's I've true. Heard, and like Guitar Center did. Like, we'll just do a quick summary, some summation. It's, it was an amazing company for many, many decades. I mean, it was awesome for, for a long time. The cats that we've, it was the, it's the dream. And, and a lot of people, myself included, think there is still a place for Guitar Center, always in the ethosphere. I love that there's this, this huge place where you can walk into, you can play guitars, and you can get lost in it. Like, and it started that way in the early years. Like the idea was to have this great in-store experience where you have these relationships. I remember guys that even that I worked with that talked about like when it used to be sort of like the Wild West and Guitar Center and they could make deals and you know, uh, just just crazy stuff. What is you know? like just for kids, I'm thinking kids, like yeah. school rock style at age, like when you're a middle schooler and you walk in there and there's like walls of guitars and it's so exciting and there's colors and it's loud. Just um, guys doing cocaine in the back so they can get through the work day. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> and it's wonderful. And Willy Wonka's there. Yeah. And no, it, what, the, I think there's a place. I think Chuck from Sweetwater has also been on record saying like, you know, hey, even though they've been kind of lousy for the past few years, there's a place for them in the market. Sure. We need guitar well, You and I have said that before, I believe. And, and I, not just for like the joy yeah. that it can bring, but also for like the, the, the people entering the MI industry, the musical industry industry. Musical industry, industry. <laughs> but MII. MII. It's like, Me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I mean, you started off with a bang and you just keep them coming. But, um, but I mean, I still have a memory of the first Guitar Center that I walked into because I was just like, oh, this is paradise. This is amazing. It's like Willy Wonka for like a music guy. I had never seen that many guitars and but, amps in one place. But also for the people that worked there for the first time, I was thinking it's a great yeah. first experience in the guitar industry. Um, because most everyone here has like worked in another type of musical type of shop of some sort. Some sort or other. Sean's was not Guitar Center. No. It was a different one, but that's um, that's different. That's okay. It was a small one. It's okay. Fun, too. He worked his way into us, into our arms, our loving arms. But no, it's... um, <laughs> We cradle him. It, 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 needs to, it needs to be there because it can, it can bring so many of the great people I know in this industry are from the GC world. That Well, we were just talking about that at... at our little Merle Fest escapade, how many folks who are, you know, the head of sales or marketing or from, whatever, blah, blah, blah. The guys at Eastman, to yep. the guys at Everywhere. Taylor, to the guys at Fender, you know, to the guys at Martin. GC alumni. That is, it's like, again, a school filled with lots of broken dreams and cocaine. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Even at Gibson Garage, you know what I mean? Yes. Guys, GC guys. And um, so we need it there as a breeding ground yeah. for like, um, this world we all love. And, and a lot of those guys learned really valuable skills at GC. And you learn what not you know, to do, too. You absolutely learn what not to do. So it was like, it was in 2007 when the retail was bought out by Bain Capital. And they would go on to sell to Aries Management, which takes a company. And then that's when they filed Chapter 11. Yep. And then Brigade Capital Management and the Cartile Group also joining ownership. It's been through so many different things and owners. And we've been through, like, we've been through the whole, like, debacles of what that is. Like, we... Eventually, Guitar Center stopped becoming a store to sell guitars and musical and things. It's a company to service its debt. And now, with the IPO, I find this insanely odd after they filed for bankruptcy pretty much a year ago. And now they're coming out of this and going to go initial public offering because they've had a decent year of sales in the most booming time of sales. I was going to say, so if we weren't in this weird time where everyone is, you know, that's that's selling instruments or in guitars in, in particular, this wouldn't be possible, right? Correct. So do you think there's a chance that like maybe Joe Schmo decides he's going to invest in something? Oh, I love guitars. I'll invest in Guitar Center. He looks and see they have had a decent year and he just gets kind of hosed because... Maybe he didn't look at, oh, Guitar Center just filed bankruptcy. Oh, they've been bought out by investment capital firms yes. multiple times. I mean, there's, there's a huge yeah. chance of that. Right. It's, um, no, there's a, there's a chance to be wrong. Like Sometimes it, it goes well and it could be a banger hit. Highly doubtful here just because you have to look at the track record. You have to look at the debt that you were buying too. Will this change? Because you, you, I feel like you're more knowledgeable about these things. So I'm going to ask the dumb questions. <laughs> to the dumber guy. Hey. Okay. So will... Will this change at all how anything is run or who's making decisions? Uh, most likely, there'll be a change in, in the ownership and general management that will take over if the private equity sells out all of their remaining shares as well. Okay. Put up there. So there will be a new board possibly elected and chosen. So there, it could change. It could be a very positive. So thing. I was going to say there's a, at least a small chance that there's a, a good thing. The going only on problem here. with this silver line that I like to paint all the time in life, 
like, oh, my wife's going to be really nice to me. Oh, yeah. like, I always think about mm, that. All right, no, you're not going to get no, a kitten. No, um, no, I'm totally getting a kitten. There's probably a kitten in my house right now. I, I just, just don't do it. Just, I have one. It just, it's, it's lovely. It walks around, it throws up, and leaves the little... I mean, I'm sort of fine as long as it's a kitten, but I just... If you want to know what it feels like to have someone live with you that despises you... Have a cat. Get a cat. I try to tell my children that. Like, this cat's not going to, like, come to you when you call it. Like, Actually, it thinks does. it owns you. My cat does like me a lot. It's, it's, it knows... It. Anyway. I should have bought to, a puppy. Should have got a puppy business. sooner. What were you saying Dang about it. cats? I um, can't remember. Oh, it could be positive. Oh, and you're, you're, you're about to wreck our silver lining. Well, because again, it's the, the silver lining aspect has to be wiped out because of the debt structure that is in place nope. for Guitar Center. Because that didn't go away, right? You, it, no, it does with bankruptcies. You restructure it, but they restructured it multiple times now, and you're still buying into a company that has this debt burden that is almost insurmountable. Gotcha. Um, just go back and like read the Eric Garland article from Guitar Center. I think it was 2016. It's brilliant. He forecasts the 2020 bankruptcy to like the nose, like he's almost like Nostradamus of the financial markets, <laughs> and he's really cool. So if you haven't checked out his blog and his website and stuff, like check it out. Do yourself a favor. It's like um, it's like this, this, this financial cowboy that understands things in a way that like our pea brains don't. A financial cowboy. Financial cowboy, Eric. He's riding his this horse of finance. I like to think about him with his little six shoes on. Calculators though. Cool hat. <laughs> awesome one of those rug things like Clint Eastwood wears God, I love so his guns you know. Clint Eastwood has a new movie like Cry Macho coming out mm. the reviews I heard were modest but we'll see I'm Clint excited Clint about um, so anyway speaking of Japinga and we're doing you call him Japinga <laughs> Japinga and, and I was referencing Tom Segura's brilliant comedy um, and I love Tom Segura right now I, I watch him when I'm in the shower not him but his comedy specials um <laughs> That'd be weird if I said I had a big picture photo of him. I was like, oh, Tom, you relax me so as I bathe and lather. <laughs> um, no, but um, so Japinga, uh. the head of Guitar Center, had another quote. The financial and operational flexibility, we need to reinvest in our business and support our long-term sustainable growth. That was his quote in reference to the bankruptcy. And uh. now there's going to be lots of other flowery statements coming forth with the IPO. It's like, now that we had a bang-out year... It's not going to say that. It's with the financial explosions of our growth in our industry, we're ready to offer the blah, chance for blah, the, blah. the burgeoning investment populace to reap the benefits of our success. We're doing you a favor. Translation, pay for these golden parachutes for the private equity guys to bail out. And that's, but that's what it is. That's what private equity does. I don't see does. a problem. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. This is... I've been trying to teach Jonathan for years now. This is why I don't own things. <laughs> and I'm happy. This is why I can't have Smart. nice things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, so their IPO is, they're allowed to file for this because they are in decent financial health. Sort of. Relatively. Maybe. Just, just be wary. The, um, the influx in capital, if this happens, the IPO could, could fail. Fender did this, gosh, over a decade ago, I feel like. They had an IPO and they, they they attempted to do it. They brought in the investment firm to offer it, which makes money off it as well. It's a big money machine. Everyone makes money, um, and it failed. The IPO did not they, they did not reach the the threshold they needed to have it actually go public, and it pulled back down. Servco owns their primary shares of Fender. Does, does that just mean that not enough people invested? It, there's a lot of factors. Okay, to it, but yeah, right. it just it just the, the, what they thought the company was worth was like everyone's like it's not worth that. Gotcha. Hold tight. It's kind of like you know, when Gibson, we talked about, was selling shares and their guitars, their prototypes for a custom shop guitar for like $95,000. A lot that sold out. Another viable retirement option. I'm just not going to talk about it. I've already talked about we it. talked about it. We've talked about it. It's done. Done. Um, I was going to say, there's a good movie about this, but I'm not going to talk about that either because I, I can't talk about movies right now. I haven't seen any good movies lately. Mm. Um, Sad. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it is what it is. I've been, I've been just, it's been too busy. It's been yes. too busy. We were at Merle Fest last week. But then... we did manage to watch Snowpiercer. Okay, we're talking about movies. If you Sorry. haven't seen Snowpiercer. That, but no, that, that, okay, it connects to this whole Dang. thing. Because that movie is all, it's, not, it's about a train that goes around the world. The whole world's on it. Because the world's frozen. Sounds yeah. ridiculous, I know. No, but it's, it's, all, it's all a class type structure thing. And it's, it is, it's like the back feeds the top. And that's the same idea here. You will be feeding these guys at top, and then maybe you can maybe make a profit at the end. Doubtful. Probably not. Probably the whole train will fall off the tracks and everyone will die. That's not what happens in the movie, but I'm just saying that could happen. There's a lot of guys with axes that will murder you, though, along the way. 
in night vision. If you like the movie it's Parasite, crazy. it's directed by the same director, I believe, and it's a wonderful movie. It's got Captain America's in it, too. I put off watching this movie forever, and yeah. then I watched it. And that, one of my favorite Korean actors is the guy who's doing the drugs. And oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's in he was great. some of the best Korean films. He was great. If you haven't watched Old Boy, oh, you're missing a, you're a missing great out. movie. It's dark. Um, if you thought Pulp Fiction was dark, just hold my beer. Oh, old Boy. Old Boy. It's okay, I'm going to watch it. Honoring. It's not old school, which is one of my other favorite movies. But no, Snowpiercer, Guitar Center Selling. Check, okay. out, check out Eric's blog that we talked about earlier. It's phenomenal. Guy's so smart, it makes me sick. We're going to get some comments from him later. We have the podcast coming out soon. Yes. As soon as the new facilities are being built to where we can actually house it, it's almost done. I think October now. We were hoping September. It didn't happen, though. This is all we know right now so far. This is a big breaking story. It's developing, and it's going to be weird. It's going to be crazy. Enjoy the ride. Yay. Hit like and subscribe if you have not already. Click that bell so you don't miss news updates like this in the future. Who knew? We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.